Ladies and gentlemen, as you guys know, over the past week, we have been updated with many, many villains in Warzone. People have been added like Raul Menendez, Khalid Al-Assad, but that's not what I'm focusing on today. And in fact, the fifth season of Vanguard in Warzone is the first time since the beginning of Modern Warfare where I haven't focused my channel on that given season. And the simple reason for that is... That's really not what I'm interested in right now. I'm interested in Modern Warfare 2, and that is why I'm bringing you this video. I haven't seen anyone talk about it, so here we go. Today, we're going to be talking about different villains, villains that I believe will be coming to Modern Warfare 2, and now we have some pretty solid evidence of it. And I actually made this prediction months ago that this was going to happen, and we're getting more and more evidence about it. And that is what we're going to be focusing on today. The two bad guys I believe will be returning in Modern Warfare 2, whether that be in Warzone 2 or whether that be in the campaign or DMZ, we don't know, but I'll show you the evidence and give you my opinions on what exactly is going to be happening here. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's video sponsor. So today's video is sponsored by War Thunder. And if you don't know what War Thunder is, it is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. You can play with more than 2000 different tanks, airplanes, helicopters, ships in dynamic combined arms PVP battles. Every vehicle is incredibly detailed and modeled down to their individual components, offering a highly immersive combat experience and right now you can play on pc xbox series x or s playstation 5 or the previous generation of consoles as well now in game the collection of vehicles in war thunder spans over 100 years of development starting off in the 1920s and going all the way to present day so i know you guys like video games if you're looking for a fast action-packed match or a more realistic tactical experience war thunder offers intense pvp battles at various immersion levels for all play styles whichever experience you prefer, you will find it in War Thunder. Now, my personal favorite part of the game is a combination of, first of all, the beautiful different landscapes, the soundscapes, the game looks awesome, but my personal favorite is flying those planes around and laying down fire on the enemies. So to play War Thunder, click the link down in the description. You can play now on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox, and on top of that, by using my link down in the description, you get a large free bonus pack for registering using my link, which will give you multiple premium vehicles, a premium account, boosters, and much, much more. So check Check it out first link down below and thank you war thunder for sponsoring the video all right so our first piece of evidence comes directly from a trailer that was put out earlier this week in this trailer we get to see a little bit of campaign gameplay that we haven't seen before and specifically i want you to have a listen to some of the voices that you hear within this that is where things actually get interesting got a heli incoming Right on time. I'm wise on. Digitally pre-order Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and play the campaign up to a week early. Now, a lot of people are focused on the character in and of itself, whether that's Ghost's gloves or whether he's holding a honey badger, so on and so forth. But what I want you to pay attention to is the person that says right on time. I very strongly believe that that voice is none other than General Shepard. And this isn't the first evidence that we have had regarding General Shepard, not just being in Modern Warfare 2, but also Modern Warfare 2019. But left unchecked. It won't be. General Shepard pulled the files you asked for. What exactly is this about? So it's interesting because this is the only time throughout Modern Warfare 2019 we directly hear General Shepard's name. It is right at the end and it hints towards him being a bigger part in whatever the next game or even what Warzone was going to be. Now earlier on in the campaign, we do hear a little bit more about the General, but not necessarily General Shepard. When you were hunting Hadir, you essentially hear the General's name used in a way against Task Force 141 that really doesn't work towards our heroes whatsoever. As much as we can all hear the ice in the glass, I'm afraid our toast has to wait. Hadir and his new friends are on the move. What are they? One step at a time. No one said they're friends. The general would tend to disagree. Norris, I asked you to let Tell me Tell them, Laswell. Or I will. Command has officially redesignated Farah's forces. You want to translate that from bullshit to English? It means they're on the list. What list? So this is actually the first time that the general is brought up whatsoever. Now, it's not mentioned that he is General Shepard whatsoever, but it's interesting as he is doing something against Task Force 141, specifically classifying Farah's forces as terrorists and forcing the hand onto Task Force 141. This is even before we hear his name at the end of the game. 
Now, when we see the trailer that we spoke about before, hearing General Shepard in a higher capacity makes a lot more sense. And the question is, is if he is in this game, is he going to be a good guy? Or is he going to turn evil like in the original Modern Warfare 2? But it doesn't end there. In the blog post that we have for Season 5 of Warzone and Vanguard, it details the characters being added, the villains, one of which is Khalid al-Assad. It gives a bit of a backstory with him in Yurzikstan and what we learned about him in Modern Warfare 2019, with him being one of the main bad guys. Now, what is interesting is at the very end of what they say about Khalid al-Assad, they say this. He is a Middle Eastern warlord and a key antagonist throughout the Modern Warfare series. Al-Assad is the second of the four horsemen, outranked only by Vladimir Makarov himself. This has been the first time Makarov has actually been mentioned specifically in this universe for Modern Warfare. Since Modern Warfare 2019 reinvented Modern Warfare, he has never actually been named, but now we know that he is actually a character within this universe. But what if I took it a step further from that and told you that he was in Modern Warfare 2019? In fact, this is something that I talked about back when Modern Warfare 2019 was released. Let me explain. Now, one of the antagonizing events in Modern Warfare 2019 was the attack on Piccadilly Circus. It was one of the first missions in the game, and it was said to be set out by Omar Suleiman, al Qatala, and, of course, because of all of that, on top of it, Khalid al-Assad. However, what if I told you that he wasn't the person who charged this attack? What if I told you it was Vladimir Makarov, and I can prove it? Kind of. Well, if we go back to the original Modern Warfare 2, so not the new one, there is a mission called Loose Ends. It's one of the most important missions in the game. Now, when you go into the building, it's Vladimir Makarov's compound, and on the wall, you can see his plans for the attack on Zakaev International Airport. But if you dig a little bit deeper, there's a newspaper article, and if you read it, it states that the person claiming responsibility for the attack on Piccadilly Circus is none other than Vladimir Makarov. Now, there was never a mission in Modern Warfare 2 with an attack on Piccadilly Circus. In fact, there wasn't until Modern Warfare 2019, way, way later. But what we can expect is if Vladimir Makarov returns, him claiming responsibility and him now being the one in charge of the Alcatala and the terrorist forces. Because as we just heard, Vladimir Makarov is the only higher up to Khalid al-Assad, one of the main bad guys, if not the main bad guy within Modern Warfare 2019. Now, as we know from the original Modern Warfare series, Vladimir Makarov was responsible for a lot of attacks. And if history is to repeat itself, that is something we can expect to see in droves coming in the next game. Now, I don't have any specific proof or video evidence of him being in the game. It's just extrapolation from things that we have seen. And the mention of the Four Horsemen is something that I have talked about in regards to Modern Warfare 2019, all of which characters were in Modern Warfare 2019, except for Vladimir Makarov, all of them, Viktor Zakaev, Imran Zakaev, Khalid Al-Assad, and now we have our first mention of Makarov. So we need to keep our eyes out when it comes to this with Modern Warfare 2 just around the corner, and I'm expecting to see more of this very, very soon. This is the information we have for now. We know General Shepard is returning. We have our first mention of Makarov, and I expect to see more of this very, very soon. That is the information we have for now. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you like these type of videos, it shows me that you want to see more like it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on everything. We got lots more Modern Warfare 2 content coming, so stay tuned. And if you want to check out a new game, be sure to check out War Thunder, first link down below. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace out. We are we are reaching for the stars, but we're making